All right, what's up guys? It's Mark again, and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So today, we're talking about saddles, and more specifically, we're talking about the saddles that are made for the big guys just like me. There's not a lot of saddles out there, but they are becoming a little bit more of a thing to find these larger saddles. And today, we're celebrating a new arrival, and that is the Phantom XL, the Tethered Phantom XL. The original Tethered Phantom is uh, a pretty well-known saddle, and I've got that one right here. Um, and this one is basically a larger version of it, but there are a couple little features that they have improved. So I'm going to go over the dimensions of this thing. I'm going to put both of them on so you can see how much of a difference this really makes. And I actually think that even the skinnier guys that have been really comfortable in the original Phantom might want to consider getting this bigger one. So let's get into it. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. If you're watching this video because you're in the market for a new saddle, I should tell you that we're currently doing a giveaway. We do a giveaway every quarter, and for this quarter, we are giving away a tethered saddle and a platform. You can choose whichever saddle you want, whichever platform you want. So any of these will be uh, a potential choice that you can make. If you're interested in entering that giveaway, it's completely free. Just go down to the link in the description Go fill out your information and you'll be in the giveaway. And there's a bunch of ways that you can get extra points, but it'll tell you all about that once you get to that link. So go do that right now. And as always, before we get into it, I just want to remind you that there's a bunch of different ways that you can support our channel. First of all, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do that now. Give this video a thumbs up. On top of that, if you're looking at buying any kind of gear, go down in the description. There's a bunch of links there that you can use to go buy your gear. And it's not going to cost you anything extra, but when you use those links, those companies will pay us just a little tiny bit of money. So we'd really appreciate it if you guys would use those links as well as the Amazon links. All right, so since I got into saddle hunting, I've been interested in the, the original Phantom because it's such a simple design. I love that it has these uh, comfort channels to adjust your bridge position on those loops. But one of the things that really had me hung up is that it's pretty small. It's not sized for big guys. And that's part of the reason that I wanted to get the Arrow Hunter originally. Uh, and I hunted out of this saddle for a year and it served me well, it's a great saddle. Uh, but there's a few things that I really didn't like about it, and I think that this new Phantom XL is really going to take care of those issues. All right, so first things first, I'm going to measure up the two Phantom saddles and compare the sizes of them. And then I'll talk about some of the new features that this XL has that I think are, are real improvements. All right, so here they are side by side, and the difference between them is obviously quite noticeable. But let's get some real life measurements. So the most important thing is obviously going to be the width of the saddle from top to bottom. So for the original Phantom, we're looking at a stretch width of uh, 11 and a half inches. So for the Phantom XL, we're looking at a stretch width. Oops. A stretch width of 15 inches so that's three and a half inches wider from top to bottom that's all very important but I think what's even more important than the width is actually the length from the tip of each loop uh, because that's what's going to make that triangle that your bridge forms uh, much larger or longer and that's going to minimize hip pinch so on the original, 
the original Phantom, we're looking at stretch length of just under 38 inches for that one. For the new XL, we're looking at a stretch length of 43 inches. So that's an added uh, like five and a half inches in length on the XL. And just for shiggles, I'm gonna measure up this Arrow Hunter as well. So the stretch length on the Arrow Hunter is going to be 38 inches on the stretch length for this. So the length of the Arrow Hunter saddle size 2, so this is the one for the bigger people, is the same length as the original Phantom. So as far as if your waist size is concerned, which originally was when I was looking at the Phantom, because they tell you what size waist it's for, and I think they say that the Phantom is good up to like 42 inch waist, uh, whereas the Phantom XL is good to like, don't quote me on this, but I'll put the numbers up on the screen that are correct. Um, so this one's actually, if you want to go by fan, the uh, tethered rating, this one's really only rated for people uh, up to 42 inches, uh, which is actually kind of uh, disappointing. Now, again, the distance from top to bottom on this Arrow Hunter is much larger, and I'm going to measure from the top of the weight-bearing strap, not this lineman belt right here, because the lineman belt is actually not taking any of your weight when you're hanging from your tether. So stretch, stretch length of this one is 17 inches, so really only about two and a half inches longer than the Phantom XL. And honestly, this just doesn't support your weight anywhere near as well. Um, nothing against Arrow Hunter, but <clears throat> they are experts in building saddles for arborists, and uh, they're gonna keep focusing on that, and that's great for them. But Tethered has been focused on making saddles specifically for hunters since they were founded. And I would rather put my money in a company that is focused on making exactly what I need. Alright, so a couple things that stood out to me as differences between the original Phantom and the Phantom XL is the belt. So the, the Phantom XL has a much wider uh, and really soft material belt. This belt is a pretty thick one inch webbing. This is a nice thin, probably one and a half or two inch webbing. This is going to be far more comfortable, especially for us guys that have a big belly that folds over. Uh, sitting on top of a belt with like having that belly resting on a belt can sometimes be really uncomfortable. For me at least, I don't know if you guys are like that, but this is going to be really comfortable. The other thing that's really nice is with the old Phantom, that belt was stitched in place. So you have your, your buckle right here and your buckle here, and the only way to adjust the position of it is by literally adjusting uh, these little buckles on each side. Uh, over here, one thing that's really nice is that this buckle or this strap is going through a tube and it's loose. You can pull it through from side to side. One thing I really like about this is that I can take this buckle, when I clip it together, I can slide that buckle off to the side so that it's not sitting under my belly and it's on the side, which is far more comfortable for me. I'm really happy that they did that because I hate belts with a passion. This buckle for the new one is also new um, and it's, it's a lower profile, thinner buckle and... Um, 
other than that, it's a buckle. It's going to do the trick just fine. But I do like that buckle a little bit better. Uh, another thing that's noticeable, and, and it would have to be, is that the bridge for these two saddles uh, are different. The Phantom XL bridge is, uh, looks like, looks like it's probably about six inches longer. And again, that's going to make it more comfortable. It's going to give you less hip pinch. So it's going to be perfect for us big boys. <coughs> Another noticeable thing, I didn't even notice this before, but the new XL comes with these little tabs right here that are made for attaching your, um, your suspenders. I love using my suspenders with my saddle, so I am super happy that it has that on there because I would have had to sew some on uh, if they weren't there. But I'm noticing right now that they are not on the original Phantom. All right, so at first glance, uh, those are the, the major differences that I can find between the original Phantom and the new Phantom XL. Um, but obviously me looking at them in my bedroom really isn't telling us a whole lot. So I'm going to take these outside. I'm going to go meet up with Danny. Danny's much smaller than me, so he's using the smaller Phantom. But I'm going to put him in this bigger one, and I'm, I'm willing to bet that he's going to be wishing that he had a, the Phantom XL as well. I think even for the smaller guys, the, the extra little bit of comfort uh, is really going to help a lot. So uh, let's go get in a tree and uh, see what we like about each of these. Right now I'm wearing the old school original Phantom, uh, not the XL. And I'm just putting this on so that I can show you guys uh, how this one fits in comparison to the new larger one. Uh, just to give you an idea of what it's going to fit like if you're uh, also a larger guy or girl like, like I am. So this is about the height that I like my, uh, my tether to be. Um, and right off the bat, I can already tell this is just is not for me. Um, the bridge on this, I have it completely maxed out as far as it goes. Um, when I use the uh, the Phantom XL, I I usually leave about four inches off the end of the uh, the bridge, and and that's really comfortable. There's no pinch. Uh, this is too narrow for for my liking, at least. Um, and in fact, because the bridge is a little shorter, I think to make it more comfortable, I have to kind of make the tether a little bit longer. Um, as you can see, the uh, straps right here uh, on the saddle, they're kind of pressing into my belly. Um, I feel like the support on the backside um, is very narrow. It's kind of like the bottom strap, like the bottom of the uh, saddle here is like kind of right in the middle of my, my butt cheeks. And the top of the saddle is kind of uh, right at the top of my butt cheeks. I, I prefer that, that saddle sort of encompasses my whole butt um, and goes, you know, beyond uh, the cheeks. Is it doable? Absolutely. Uh, I know there's a lot of heavier guys that have been using the Phantom for a while because they really haven't had much of a choice. Um, but is this as comfortable as the XL? No, I don't think so. Um, in fact, uh, I'm going to go put on the XL here in a minute and you'll be able to see, uh, you know, how much of a difference we're talking. Uh, keep it, keep in mind where the ends of these, uh, bridge loops are. Um, they basically, when I'm, when I'm sitting centered in this saddle, they are pretty much level with, uh, how far my belly sticks out. And, uh, you'll notice when I grab the other one, it's, they're going to be a little further out. The angle of this bridge is going to be uh, a lot less, so it's going to create less hip pinch. Um, like I said, I could hunt out of this, sure, uh, but if I had to, if I had a choice, it's the XL all day, every day. So yeah, so this saddle is uh, actually uh, really comfortable. I don't, I don't get any sort of pinch at all, either on the top or bottom. It's almost like if, if I can a uh, use an example as like if you were on like a park swing where you're sitting on one of those and it's like really evenly um distributed the weight and all that so and i'm not i'm not getting any any kind of pinch at all i'm more of a, a sitter so 
it, it fits me really nice for sitting and even in this position um same thing it's it just feels like it's real even evenly distributed the weight um I'm not getting any pinch here or back here well, it's really well built all right so i'm in the xl now um i'm gonna clip in here And immediately with the tether set in that same position, I am way further back. So I'm gonna scoop this up just a little bit. So, oh yeah, that's great. So as you can see, my bridge right here, I've got three or four inches sticking out on the end. And I mean, this is just a world of difference and comfort. Uh, look at how much further these bridge loops stick out off my belly the other one was right here um and with these i mean that's like an extra four inches on each side um where the bridge starts and there's significantly less pinch uh because of that you know these straps kind of fold up as you get closer to the end here because they're being squished uh, but as you get further away from that point they flatten out so you're going to get uh, a a larger surface area that's supporting your weight and I mean this is a world of difference for me um, you know like I said I could I could hunt out of the other one but I would be uncomfortable in this thing man I could sit in this thing all day long it is so comfortable um, and the adjustability is great you know just like with the other one you can you can shift if you want to um, shift your weight around so that you're uh, more uh, in a better seating sitting position you can just shift those uh, those uh, you can move the comfort channels around uh, and that's gonna change the way that pressure is put on the top and the bottom of the saddle uh, I find it most comfortable either right in the middle or in one of the top notches um, <clears throat> but again you know throughout the day if I'm sitting here a long time right now I'm kind of right in the center if I'm spending a lot of time sitting I find this central setting to be the most comfortable. Uh, but if I'm going to be doing a lot of leaning, uh, you know, I'll take some pressure off and I'll just slide up one of the comfort channels like so and lean back down. Oops, I didn't move that one. There we go. And, and I find this to be far more comfortable when I'm leaning. Uh, I mean, this thing is just fantastic. I'm, I'm so excited to be hunting out of the saddle this season. So, Let's put Danny in here, and I got a feeling he's going to be asking Tethered to take back his old Phantom and grab this uh, this Phantom XL. So for those of you that uh, have the old Phantom and love it, consider picking up the new Phantom XL. This thing is badass. It is so comfortable, and I, like I said, it's only like an ounce or two heavier, uh, and just overall so much more comfort. I was afraid of putting this thing on because I figured it's going to be way too comfortable. And I was absolutely correct. The XL is very, very comfortable, even for a little guy like me. I mean, I'm, I say I'm little. I'm 218 pounds at about 5'11". What's your waist? Your uh, waist 36. 36? Yeah. Yeah, because I think that one on their website is rated up to 30, or sorry, 40. I think it's 40. Yeah. Maybe 42. I don't know. I think it's 40. And, but this one's good to like 46. <laughs> Dude. And I'm a, I'm like 40, 42, so like this is I'm on the low end of the size for that, and but like when I put that one on, I feel like it's not enough. So the difference in between the two, like my first impression, I've only been in here since like right now, like less than five minutes, and my first impression is that one feels like a park swing, like if you're sitting in a swing, or it's nice and evenly distributed. This is more like a lawn chair. I feel like it cups me like a and, lawn chair. And you don't even have the bridge extended. No, I had to bring it in a little bit. Honestly, I don't normally run my tether this low. I yeah, typically run it above more. my head. And then I'll pull out my bridge a little bit. And then that'll give me some room here to play with my the the yep. back support. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, this is really comfortable. That's Sending wild. the other one back? <laughs> That's wild. I, I mean, like I feel it. like, you know... The, the Phantom's always been like kind of the gold standard for the run and gun. 
And that's like what they're aiming for is that run and gun mobile hunter thing. So they want it to be minimalist. But I think there's a lot of hunters out there that, that don't mind carrying an extra, like, I think it's like two ounces difference. Yeah, I think the I mean, bigger one's only a couple ounces more. And I think for, for what you gain no, from it, dude. it's like, I mean, it's the same thing with the XL uh, platform, you know, it's five ounces more yeah. than the smaller one, but it's double the size. This so, is really comfortable. I really like it. Um, I think that's the best comparison I can come up with. I feel, I feel like I'm in a launcher. Yeah. Just because of the way it it's it's spread out way more. And I don't know. I, just, I mean, I felt just, the same way. Like, when I put yours on, I was like, I, I even said it over and over again. I was like, it's if, not bad. If, if I had to hunt out of this, like, I could, I could sit in this all day. Yeah. But this thing, I could sit in this level. all week, man. Yeah. Like, it's, it's yeah, yeah, like yeah, a different it's, game, man. It's, that's wild. <clears throat> Well, yeah. All right. I guess, I, guess, uh, I guess we're calling tethered. I guess we're gonna call. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I knew this was gonna ruin me. I mean, just by how comfortable that one is, if you make it bigger. Yeah. Well, and that's that's kind of why I wanted to put you in it because I think, you know, like I said, I think there's a lot of hunters that that would like to have the option for when they want to be a little more comfortable. Like, let's say you know you're gonna go for like an all day sit. Yeah. You don't mind carrying a little bit extra so you're comfortable in the tree versus if you're like really trying to go really far and you're trying to be as lightweight as possible, then that smaller one might be a better Yeah, we're option. talking about ounces. Like, yeah. you could just drink some of your water and get rid of that weight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Start carrying internally. So, so cool. But, beans, uh, man. I like it. Yeah, I'm glad Tethered finally made um, a bigger one because that the size on that one that it said on the website always had me worried. When I yeah. found out they were making that thing, I got really excited. Cool. So, Anyway, uh, with that, you know, if you already have uh, the regular Phantom and you're looking for something a little bigger, maybe something a little more comfortable, this thing uh, is super comfortable. Um, think about picking one up. And uh, yep. we've got like a week and a half to prepare for season, and then it's basically go time. So we're going to stop worrying about our saddles and start making sure everything else is ready to go. Yep. So. Yeah, I think we've got the saddles covered. Yep. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. And uh, if you haven't signed up for our giveaway yet, we're actually giving away Down the this saddle and that platform. Uh, and it's totally free to enter. The link is down in the description. Catch you guys next time.